Hey, it's Chris again. Today I want to show you guys how to schedule a meeting within Salesforce.com and have that meeting that you schedule automatically send out an invitation to your contact so that they can add the meeting to their calendar and feedback some information to you that's going to appear in your Salesforce.com org. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to a contact that you have a future meeting scheduled for to plan a new meeting you're just going to want to hover over the open activities link on the top once the open activities uh, related list pops up for you all you need to do is select new event and then the new event screen opens up and we're allowed to come in now and schedule our meeting for this person so here we're going to have a meeting it's going to be next week it's taking place at 10 in the morning it's going to be about an hour long the meeting location is going to be at the MCC office. And the subject of the meeting is we're going to have a meeting and we're going to discuss our support procedures with this customer. So I go meeting, support overview. And I've said this before and I'll say it again. If you can get into good habits with your naming scheme, you're going to be able to better see what you've done in the past within your Salesforce org and it's going to help you improve your selling process if you're a salesperson or if you're a manager it's going to give you better vision as to what's going on out in the field with your sales team or support team whoever is using Salesforce to manage their day to day so we've, we've entered in the subject title of the meeting we have our contact selected now we're going to add a little a brief description of what we're going to do at the meeting what I like to do is put a little intro line in here, almost like it's an email. Chris, um, please let me know of any conflicts with our time. And then I'm going to add a, oops, I'm going to also add a rough meeting agenda. for my contact. I just think that's a good best practice for people to be in. So since they're coming to my office for the first time, we're going to give them the company tour. And we're going to go to the big conference room and we're going to review our our support process. Whoa. Also going to introduce some key members of the support team. And we're going to finish it up with some general Q&A. Nothing too fancy. It's a basic business meeting that we're uh, lining up right here. In addition, I'm going to want to also invite one of my business partners to the meeting. So I'm going to come down to the bottom of the page. There's a little section here. It says Invite Others. I'm going to click the Add Invitees button. I'm going to go ahead into my contact database right now. I'm also going to invite Betty Blair from American Bank Corp to the meeting. So I've added Betty to the list. I select Done. And now once the page refreshes, Betty's name is going to appear at the bottom. But my contact's name isn't down there yet. That is because I have to click the Add to Invitees list. And the reason I do that, when I add, when I use the Add to Invitees list that appears at the bottom of the page, I'm going to take all the data that we have on this page and I'm going to submit an email invitation that the customer can interact with. So to do that I'm going to go ahead and click Save and Send and at this time my inbox in my, of my email system is going to send, receive a notification of an email and everybody else that I've invited to the meeting they're going to get a meeting request invitation and those look just like this this is what the customer sees out of the box in salesforce.com. You can modify this image on the top and the image on the bottom to reflect your branding. So you can add your logo up here. Um, gives it a little bit more of a, some people might argue, a cleaner, more branded look. And if you want that, it's easy enough for your administrator to go in and set that up. So the customer can click right into this meeting invitation. And then so this meeting invitation screen opens up. Uh, I am going to be accepting this meeting and now I can add comments and say looking forward to seeing the MCC ranch you guys 
rock because all customers think we rock. Well, most customers think we rock. So once they click save, that's going to push this data right back into our Salesforce org so that when I come back into the page, I go open activities and I go ahead and select the meeting invitation that was just received and I see that nobody's responded because I clicked on the wrong meeting because I have two here and it is this meeting 2.30 we have accepted event it's from Chris Murphy contact looking forward to see the MCC ranch you guys rock so that is a very quick overview of how to schedule a meeting add contacts submit a meeting invitation to the contacts and what it's going to look like when that comes back into your Salesforce org. So I hope this quick overview has been helpful to everybody. Um, and we look forward to posting more how-tos in the future. And as always, we hope that you're having a prosperous business quarter utilizing Salesforce.com to manage your organization. Thank you.